All right, Jeep Speed Shop. Here we are with our JL project. 2021 Jeep JL Unlimited. This had a four cylinder and it had a little damaged frame. So we changed the frame out. This frame's actually from an 18 to 19 um, Jeep that had some rear damage that we fixed that part of the frame. But here we have a 6.4 liter and we made some modification right here to the alternator. Had to cut back the alternator a little bit, the bolts, so they wouldn't hit the frame no more. Now we have some clearance. As long as you don't have to change the alternator, you're in good shape. But we had to cut that back uh, so there was room. And this engine's down because we're still working on the training mount. And then we also have to cut our front mount. It's a crude line, but something like that. Um, because we have to move this engine all the way forward. And then as you can see here, with our bolt-in mounts, we had to run truck manifolds. Couldn't run the manifolds from the JL um, because it's too big, because they run manifolds in JLs. Um, not headers like everything else. JLs run manifolds. Um, and so these are actually from a truck. So 19 and newer truck works with my mounts. So if you didn't have to use my mounts, you could probably use the JL manifolds. They look really similar, but they're a little bit bigger. Um, I can bring one over and show you. But So 6.4 liter, uh, 70, uh, HP 75, I have a Dodge Ram truck half ton. Hey, look at this, now we got a transfer case. So this transfer case is from 07 to 11 JK Auto or, which this one here is from Stick Shift, I think, actually. Um, so this is from a 17 with a manual. So that is stick. So this is what we're gonna use. So we're gonna use this transfer case and this conversion. So um, it's 2.72 to one, which we do in the JK. So we're doing this like a JK. So we're also doing the mount here from a stick shift. I don't know if that's gonna work yet. So it's still, this could change. This video could change, that could change because the linkage is all different. But for now, we're trying it. And we're just gonna do the video as it is, but. Um, manifold on this side, also truck. All bolted in, works with it, our mounts. All that's been good. Everything fits well there. Um, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, and here, that's the manifold from a JL. Three, uh, 392, 6.4 liter. So as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. There's the part number, you know. It'll work probably um, if you didn't run our mounts because our mounts are raised up so high just so we can get the engine low, you know? So, oh, I got them both. So, left and right. But they don't really work in a JK. They're still kind of an issue. You'd have to pound the firewall a little bit to make them work uh, because they're exactly the same as the truck ones, just a little smaller. And they got O2 bunks. All right, so, but in our case, we're not gonna be able to use them. We're using a truck, which is still fine. It'll work out good. So we can use our, our mounts and we're gonna try to do this more legal by using stock cats and so on. Just the only problem is that we're not gonna use these manifolds. We're gonna use these. And then we're gonna show in the next video how we're gonna bolt the transmission to the cross member using the stock mount from the JL. Looks like it'll be pretty simple. We just haven't gotten that far yet. And uh, it's been a while, so I figured, you know, I'll do a video on this. Now, a couple things. I mean, here's the plug for right here, transfer case, but we're not gonna be using this one. This is for the all-wheel drive 392, which we don't have all-wheel drive. This is a 241. No all-wheel drive, so we just we can have rear wheel, front wheel, low range, all that, just like a JK. So we're not gonna be using this 
and but this will still plug in just like so so we'll still have the multi-function switch and i think that's about it for this segment of this video of i think this is like three video number three of uh a 6.4 and a JL, small Gleagle. You know, this is all still fitting. It's gonna be close, everything's tight, but it looks like it'll work. And we're not gonna be running the electric power steering. Yeah, all gone, see ya. Plus, kinda hard to run the electric power steering with this alternator in this location. The JL alternator is more up in here. And so we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it JK style, JL, whatever, right? So we pulled the pump out, the radiator out, and most of the wiring out. And then we're gonna be doing a rewire job uh, because the computer now is gonna be on the passenger side. When it was a four banger, it was on the driver's side. So we gotta do a little bit of rewiring work. And where's that? At? I think that's over here. There's the harness. So, whoo, a little bit of wire. So, there's the harness. We're going to have to replace up in here. So, we can hook up this to this and then move the computer over to the other side. So, hopefully, this works. This will be interesting. All right, well. There's a lot of wire, but this harness and the engine harness, I think all in were like 1200 bucks for both harnesses. That's today. Now, give it another year or so, probably a million dollars. But right now, not so bad. And it's all factory. All plugs in, should work. But we'll see. They'll be in the next video. Wiring and radiator and cooler and the body mounted on to the frame. So it's getting close, but I, this is like just going step by step on this baby. And we'll show parts and give it a list. And you know, if anybody else wants to do this, go for it. We'll give you all the info, but we're not really gonna be doing this for a job. So, all right, Jeep Speed Shop out. <laughs>